Donnie, I thought Casey Wilson gave you a really big second half when he kind of had an offensive lull. Casey kind of lowered his head, drove aggressive to the basket at four really good layups in the second half. No, he really did. You know, we had five guys in double figures here tonight, and, and I think that's important that, uh, that we just wasn't one guy that was scoring for us, and Casey come off, gave us a big lift off the bench, and uh, he was the mismatch with the, who he had guarding him, and we posted him up and went to him two or three times. And the thing I was proud of, he was aggressive, wasn't trying to shoot a shot. He was ripping through and trying to get to the rim. Uh, you're up by six. About two and a half to go. Tristan Spurlock in the middle of a bunch of bodies banging around. Got the ball, missed it, got it back, blocked, got it back. He missed a free throw, but the basket put you up by eight. That was kind of a tough, gritty play that I thought kind of bounced momentum back on your side. Yeah, absolutely. I think that, uh, you know, you got to continue just give him freedom to play. And, uh, you know, as a coach, I'm hollering, bring it out, put it back. But, you know, he's, he makes plays, and he's got a great uh, grit to be able to grind things out. And uh, he found ways to, uh, to score for us. He had a couple of sloppy turnovers, but I thought for the most part against their pressure, Donnie, your team handled it well, even up at ECU until Z went out of the ball game. But really no panic in the second half. You guys did a good job of the inbounds. No, we did. We did. The only turnovers we had was Keith uh, in, in the half court where we were going to him, and he was being a little loose with the ball and turned it over a few times. He had five of the seven. And turnovers. Yeah. And so he's going to get a lot of attention, and they played a lot of zone tonight to try to keep him from getting touches. But um, but I thought we did a good job handling the pressure and um, and uh, got across half court, and we were able to execute, get fouled, and uh, do the things we needed to. Memphis is going to beat uh, Southern Miss final seconds. They got a double digit lead there, and uh, we're going to be two back in Memphis, which makes Wednesday's game a monster basketball game. We're now tied for second place, assuming that score holds, and a good opportunity for your team here. Yeah, absolutely. We just got to control our own destiny. We said, we, hey, the upper half of the schedules who we play uh, in the league and you know this was the fifth place team right now and uh, we had to take care of our home court here against them and now we got a chance to, uh, to, grow, uh, to control our destiny we're going to walk in and play at Memphis and uh, we'll put all of our energy we're going to celebrate this just for a few more hours Mark and then we're going to put all of our energy uh, into Memphis uh, in the morning and watching them and uh, it's always a tough place to play we've never won there a lot of people haven't won there so it's going to be a great opportunity for us to go in and play. One last comment about Keith he set the school record for career rebounds you've witnessed him the last couple of years it's a, a tremendous and it's accomplishment, a lot of rebounds, and uh, any, anytime you see a record like that, you're happy for a player. Yeah, I'm really happy, happy for Keith. It was great to be at his high school last night, and they honored him uh, for all the success he's had there. But uh, And here, you know, he's going to go down as one of the greatest to ever play here. And rebounding is just one of the great things that he's got in his game, and uh, I'm so happy for him, him and his mom, Gloria. and They've had success everywhere they've been, and there's, there's a reason for that with the kind of character kid he is, Mark. All right, Coach, congrats. Thanks for coming Thanks, out. Mark. Donnie Jones celebrating the UCF win. Going to talk to Isaiah Sykes in just a moment here. Uh, big day for Z and the effort that he had for UCF in this basketball game as the Knights win it 83-73, to just the fourth triple-double in uh, school history uh, for Isaiah Sykes, who had 20 points, 16 rebounds, 11 assists. I know you well enough that you'll even admit five of those rebounds came on your own misses, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, they weren't able to go down. You know, I was looking crazy like Oh, my God. <laughs> this was an interesting game. They shoot the ball so well, and they got guys that can get threes off quickly. So before the game, Z, what were some of the things that Coach felt you guys had to do that you think you did do in the game? Uh, we just had to pressure them and not give them wide, wide open looks. You know, they made some tough shots down the stretch, but, you know, I felt like our team didn't give them the open looks that they got last game to come back when, um, from down 17. In the first half, it became a, a drain in threes. Everybody's knocking down threes. What's that like on the floor where here's a pass and the guy's launching it's going in? Uh, well, you know, it was one of them nights where shots went down. Uh, the whole team did come early, extra early, and got shots in. So I think that helped us. And we talked before the game saying that uh, we owed them one because we let one get away uh, when we played at their place. 11 assists. Uh, this point guard thing still relatively new for you. What are you looking at when you're trying to find some of your players that has made you such a good guy when it comes to feeding them the basketball? Uh, just knowing your teammates, you know, knowing where the guys like the ball and where they like their shot set, you know, I think I did a good job of that. You know, Tristan, you know, he loves to slide in the corner, and, you know, uh, Casey mid-range and, you know, sliding up and just trying to get others involved. So, uh, you know, people's going to key in on me, so i got to get others involved. A couple three-pointers for you. The second one I'm going to ask you to talk about because kind of a moment they began to make a run. It's a key possession, and everybody's wondering what's going to happen. And you just said, here, watch, I'm going to knock down a three. <laughs> uh, just taking what the defense gave me. You know, he stepped off. You know, I, I hit one early, and uh, my confidence was up. You know, I just uh, went for it, and it, you know, tonight it went down. Playing with a big lead at time to be a little bit of a problem for you guys. What is it that has allowed teams to get back in the game that you think you guys have to uh, work on a little bit? 
I think we got to keep working on um, execute. Once we get a big lead, we get kind of relaxed, but we got to keep that aggressiveness that got us to lead and um, keep progressing on that lead to take it to that next level in order for us to be a great team. Big second half for Casey Wilson. You guys had that little lully of those four straight layups. Uh, give me your thoughts on what you saw to Casey there. Uh, Casey was aggressive tonight. You know, he uh, came and did <laughs> He came and did his uh, thing, you know. The guys was running out. We hit threes earlier, so, you know, he pumped fake and got to the rim, and uh, he did a good job tonight. Keith Clanton just came by to stick his face in there. He set the school record for rebounds. He had been on the floor for many of uh, those rebounds. I'm going to uh, mock him because that was an impressive rebound. The ball kind of bounced out, right? That <laughs> yeah. wasn't a man's rebound in traffic there, right? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, that's uh, a great job by Keith. You know, he, he deserves it. He works, works hard day in and day out, and, uh, I love watching them play. Uh, Z now 7-2 and two in the league. Memphis beat Southern Miss, so they're still unbeaten. We're going to go there on Wednesday for a big basketball game. You've played in that building several times. What makes it so tough to play there, and then what's the key to playing and, and putting yourself in a position to win at Memphis? I think we just got to uh, limit their points in transition, guard the three-point line, and just stay in front. You know, we can't let their bigs get in the post and let Joe Jackson um, uh, control the uh, game tempo and stuff like that. We got to get them out of rhythm. You know, let them see different things like zone and, you know, just uh, keep them out of that rhythm and don't let them get going. Do you get extra motivated for a game like that, or do you say, you know what, it's just the next game. i got to keep them all equal. Uh, well, every game, the next game is always the most important game. That's how we go. That's our goal is we focus on the next game instead of the ahead. So, you know, that's what we're looking forward to and going to prepare to. Fourth triple-double in school history. The only night to have two of them both this year, and he was impressive today. 20, 16, and 11. Only one turnover, Isaiah Sykes. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Thank you.